Hello my shining stars, welcome to my channel. Today we will speak about total solar eclipse that will happen in April, on the 8th of April in 19th degrees of Aries. So if your ascendant sun or moon signs has 19 degrees of Aries, you will experience big changes and big shifts. Eclipses always happen on the karmic nodes. Solar and lunar eclipses happen every year they have different cyruses cyrus is a spiral at different elevation you might experience same events that you had 18 years ago plus minus 10 or 11 days because each cyrus has 18 years length and lunar eclipse cyrus in march on 25th of march has a different number that cyrus 139 that we will welcome in april eclipses are always changes i'm very excited for the new changes what this solar eclipse will bring let me tell you a little bit more about cyrus 139 the eclipse that we will have in April. When you imagine Cyrus, think of a train that you can board on the same platform. And the time between the trains of the same route, 139, happens every 18th year. This Cyrus 139 will bring changes for people who have ascendants, zodiacs, or moon sign in Aries. But you might ask, what about other people? Well, Eclipses always happen on the dimension of karmic nodes. And I will explain which karmic nodes, which dimensions of your life you will expect the changes progress. So last train route Cyrus 139 was in spring 2006. What happened to you then? By analyzing the events of the previous Cyrus, you can see what might happen. You can predict when you will have the waves of luck and in which areas. And let me remind you that right now you will accept similar events. This time you are wiser, you are on a different level, and it's not cyclical, it's not the cycle, it's a spiral. With a new experience and approach to life, you will know which path to take and which decisions to make. Just keep in mind that astrologically, the time between two eclipses, lunar and solar, basically spring of 2024 is a very is a very turbulent time and if you're not sure in your decisions don't make any decisions otherwise you will trigger the events that will set the algorithm for 18 years a successful project for the next 18 years or you will you might experience challenges in certain things for 18 years especially when you have two eclipses together with retrograde mercury reflect on your past experience and use the time for second chances planning analyzing auditing next cyrus 139 will happen in 2042 cyrus 139 started in 1501 and will end in 2763. This Cyrus contains 71 eclipses. Some of them are partial, some of them are total. The longest one will be this April. It will be 4 minutes 28 seconds. And this eclipse will have number 30 out of 71 eclipses in this Cyrus. Lunar eclipses and solar eclipses have different Cyruses and they have different characteristics that are repeated every 18 years and not all the total solar eclipses they have connection with chiron the asteroid symbolizing healing and recovery and mystical events in life sun will meet chiron in 24 degrees of aries in april when sun will meet moon they will also connect with chiron and it happens once per 50 or 51 years and there are certain things that I would like to share with you, maybe even in a separate video, because in April it will be all also the combination of Jupiter and Taurus and Uranus and Taurus with a very close proximity to a devil's star named Algol. And it happens every 84 years. And usually during these events, 
genius or dictator suborn people with activation of the eighth house house of death and transformation they have a shift in their fate they might discover certain talents that might surprise them and horrify other people it's a very interesting topic need separate video so let's get back to our solar eclipses the solar eclipse of cyrus 139 is characterized by sparks of a genius, intuitive ideas, discovering of hidden talents, good ideas, vivid visions will arise in lucky individuals. These newfound inspirations will lead individuals away from their social life and relationships, causing tension in their personal life. It's the time when individuals will feel the urge to be free, to be independent, and it's an amazing time to take a vacation, to take time off and dedicate some time to self-love, self-discovery, and in a solitude, some people might open the new talent in themselves to see the future or to become more intuitive and in tuned in their own intuitions and discover who lives in their self-conscious. When we are born, the stars lay out, program our blueprint of our life. Parents, they put some programs in us and when we grow up, we try to choose what pleases them or if we have a conflict, it triggers different algorithms in our life and we make choices accordingly to our blueprint. And every year we become more wise. We are discovering the new world. We are getting rid of the negative programs unless certain areas in our life we make choices that traps us for certain Cyrus in certain dependencies or bad relationships or karmic traps of our parents and we have to repeat their path in order to get rid of certain programs that were placed in their fates from their parents and this Cyrus 139 gives opportunity for many people with bad karmic family experiences to break free regardless your zodiac sign and i will explain why combination of chiron that is a ruler of Afeyukes, the 13th zodiac sign that not very many people know much about but i will tell you more chiron has the reputation of a wounded healer and by mythology it was a centaur with a man's head and a horse body that combined incompatible things and he was wounded and because he was immortal and wounded by the poisoned arrow he was constantly dying but he had so much wisdom that he shared with Ophiuchus he taught him how to operate how to balance his subconscious nature that can be very dangerous to other people Ophiuchus or serpent bearer is the constellation between Sagittarius the archer and Scorpio and it's represented by a person a man who is holding a snake or two snakes because it's also a constellation of snakes in one hand is a head in one hand is a tail with head this person can kill and with a tail the person can heal alchemists or snake can represent the power of subconsciousness and intuition that either can kill or can heal sun goes through afeyukin's constellation for a couple hundred years already and that's why i included in my horoscopes afeyukin's because it gives extra information and for many people is that last puzzle that will complete the full picture is the constellation and the zodiac of healers people who work with energies people with extrasensor abilities psychics people who can change the reality with their mind and when i start investigating more of the yukis brings opportunity and possibility for people to change their karma of course people can use hidden knowledge and energy for good or for bad and you know there are many successful people who are black magicians and they source their energy from cosmos and through Ophiuchus they can receive energy 
and it's up to a person that will use it for good or for bad. So Chiron is the asteroid in astrology that signifies the concept of a wounded healer. He had a knowledge of medicine and skills to teach others, to give the knowledge to others and healing their not just wounds but also souls. The only thing that Chiron couldn't do is to heal himself. Specialists that cannot help themselves, but they can cure other people with their talents or gifts. In astrology, Chiron in the birth chart represents different areas of psychological traumas that are already in your birth chart. They indicate areas of emotional and spiritual wounds. And even if the child is born in a loving family, but he has, for example, certain areas about fear or the fear of being abundant, he will always constantly seeking attention from others and by knowing this aspect parents can teach their children to overcome this fear and it will prevent so many different problems and i don't need to tell you that psychologically if a person has this fear to be abundant he will be seeking the recognition and approval from the strangers and it will be easier to manipulate this person and to force these people to do the things that i want to do that's why it's so important to know your birth chart, your blueprint of your life and make right choices because you do have a choice. Unless you believe that your life is a movie, that you cannot change anything, I can guarantee you that our life is more like a computer game. And subconsciously you can accept, are you the player? And Ophiuchus and Chiron give you understanding of multi-level of our universe, multi-level of our subconsciousness. And by dissociating, we can play a different role, we can broaden our horizons and we can change our fates. But it's a hidden knowledge and that's why 13th Zodiac was hidden forever. The knowledge about the zodiac is still not developed. It's not well known in astrology, but on intuitive level, you can feel that it's a very important and powerful information is there about words, vibration, intuition, mental meditation, when people can change their reality just by focusing on themselves when we are born, when we grew up, which social roles, are programmed in us and how to change those programs. The different level of knowledge is required for people who want to change something in their life or in their family. I can give you an example with computers. Some people, they just know on and on button and they try not to get too much deep into details. There are people who are users who know how to install operational system, download the apps, how to reinstall the programs, how to operate their laptops and computers. And there is a level of hackers who know, who don't have the word no, they know how the system operates and how to create the new systems, how to change other people's systems and lives. And this is what true Afiyuka says they do. They have the ability to be hackers of people's faiths and deep healers. Either they're doing this with knowledge or with their emotions or intuition or just with their mind without any words. Some people can heal with sounds, can heal just with their hands. This is Chiron. And the combination of the total solar eclipse with Chiron that happens only once per 50 to 51 years is very rare. It happens in the Aries zodiac sign, which is responsible for courage, passion, fire, desire, abilities to break through, to push forward fearlessly and to change their life for better, to protect, to fight for justice. And different people will have different aspects and different houses. Transit involving Chiron can bring opportunities for everybody for healing, self-discovery. But for some people, it will be the time of very intensive sensibility, emotional pain, and the sense of vulnerability. Working with Chiron energy involves acknowledgement and accepting your own wounds and it will require dissociation and look at yourself from another side. 
And in this moment, by cultivating self-compassion, resilience, and willingness to change, a willingness to seek support of other people, you will heal yourself and you will have opportunity to cut all these problems out of your life and never come back to this again. As a ruler of Alpha Yukis, Chiron influence affects the themes related to healing, wisdom, and spiritual growth. If you have strong placement of Chiron in any of the planets, you will feel the urge and you will be drawn to explore deeper aspects of human psychic of subconsciousness, including issues with health, wellness, mind, body, fitness, martial arts, and of course, spiritual development and religion. Not very many people know, but in 2024, we have two full moons in Ophiuchus and one new moon in Ophiuchus. Full moon in Ophiuchus will be on April 23rd and May 23rd. When full moon occurs in Ophiuchus, it infuses the lunar energies with the qualities associated with this constellation. So you might expect amplified themes of spiritual growth, as well as inner healing traumas, psychological traumas and health. Be very cautious what you say, because every word will, especially curses, any curse language, especially from parents' mouth, will trigger the curses, disruptive programs, will be either unbreakable or very hard to change and these curses can last for 18 years some people they even take the ascetic practices of keeping quiet when we have such a powerful alignment of the total solar eclipse and chiron and as you know parental curses are the worst ones people with highlight and intuition can have prophetic dreams write them down you might find hidden talents in yourself or you will start noticing that you feel the reality better or maybe you even find psychic talent in yourself it will just suddenly open and you can find people by a photograph you will subconsciously know which lottery tickets to purchase and lots of things that people consider supernatural for you will become easily and natural during the full moons in Ophiuchus in April and May focus on reflecting on your past traumas on the programs that were placed in you not by you but by your parents or society analyze them don't feel attitude towards them dissociate look at yourself as your best friend write it down make this analysis is a part that is used widely in psychotherapy that is helping lots of people to get through heart memories or traumas this is your chance for healing and for changing your life for better to become more productive in anything you want to do in your life you have to understand that transformation doesn't come over one night the transformation is usually very painful process the same as a woman give birth to a child is traumatic and painful for a child and it's traumatic and painful for a woman that's why spiritual aspect is very similar it can be broken feelings or love triangle it can be a painful divorce it can be death in a family but these are transformative times for you to break either family curse or to heal yourself and prevent future illnesses in your family to the degree that you can absolutely start the new family, the new life, like a witness protection program where you will feel safe and the world of new opportunities will be opened for you and your family or your future family. By helping others who cannot pay you with the same coin, you are healing yourself that's why if you're stressed depressed find an activity when you can help animals or people who who need support and help full moons are always nice for getting rid of certain things and usually is a very powerful ritual of 
writing down the list of the things that you don't want to have in your life and burn it on the full moon in a safe place. It doesn't need to be night, but it just have to be that period of a full moon. And you can check the lunar days in a lunar calendar. I give more information about lunar calendar and the energy of each lunar day in my ebook. If you would like, you can download it from Kindle Amazon. The new moon in Ophiuchus, time of beginnings, you can plant the first seeds and the vast fertile soil of universe will be on the 30th of November. New moon in Ophiuchus, 30th of November. Full moon in Ophiuchus, April 23rd, May 23rd. New moon, new beginnings, end cycle of something, the beginning cycle of something. Full moon is the ending of something or the climax of certain issues or programs, depends in which zodiac it is and which house you have it. Each zodiac and each moon cycle make certain things vulnerable. That's why when there are full moons, it's highly not recommended to do any operations, as well as when there are eclipses or retrograde Mercury or retrograde Venus, plastic surgeries are prohibited because it says algorithm for complications, dissatisfaction, and the need to redo what you actually wanted. The algorithms to redo things. So let's speak about each zodiac sign and what total solar eclipse will bring to each zodiac sign. First sign, Aries. For the next three months, you will have powerful shift regarding your identity, your first house of your horoscope. First house is our body, how people perceive us. The first thing when they look at us or what they see. Everything connected with our appearance, with our body, with our identity, documents, our status can be changed. And you will be the one who will decide which changes to accept and which changes to call in your life. Be careful with negative energies like fear, anger, envy, because usually in this powerful shift on the total eclipses, you attract what you fear. Be aware of that. You will have an urge to leave the old ways and to start the new life. Maybe you will decide to sign up for a new fitness program that will be very successful and you will see the transformation of your body within three months. Maybe you will decide, okay, it's enough for me to be alone. I will go and place myself out of there. I will start dating and you will see the results within three months. Or maybe you were expecting and praying for being pregnant and this would be the time when the universe will open the sources for you and you will become pregnant with a child. Usually the soul will be sent back to your family with who you were very close. Chiron also means duality. That's why don't be surprised if you will have twins. Because Chiron in numerology means two, it can be two new people that will come to your life and make it easier and transform it for better. It can be pets, it can be children or events or hobby activities that will heal your soul and heal your body. I don't know if you've watched the movie about Doctor Strange, but the doctor who was a very famous and arrogant neurosurgeon got in a car accident, usually retrograde mercury in house three effect. And after this, he lost everything that he valued in his life in order to go through pain and train himself to be less arrogant and learned how to live. And here is when he found a new identity. Of course, it's a movie, but this movie has a very nice message, very similar to how events in your life might work for better. It doesn't need to be an accident. I'm just saying that Chiron will punish arrogant people, pride people, or who cause pain to others. These people will have a chance to change and change other people's life for better. If they will accept it, they will be given a, a, this opportunity. If they will not, the fate of these people is fatal. And in most of the cases, people who will not change, they will cause their own problems. Another example how Chiron affects people in house one in three months of total eclipses in Aries is the prayer of a loving person for another person. The concept of miracles happen exactly when there is alignment of 
total eclipse with the healing properties of Chiron. The certain unexplicable things that doctors cannot explain, I witnessed in my life the healing properties of Chiron and at the full moons in Ophiuchus myself within my own family when my mother was dying from two lungs pneumonia and she has a dystrophic state of her body and at that moment I was praying for all night and all day and I made certain spiritual promises to be a righteous person and always to help other people. The next day she did not have that two lungs pneumonia that she had for two years and the doctors said prepare for the worst, that state of her health completely disappeared. And that morning I felt, even without knowing that she fully recovered, I felt a feeling of total peace and calmness and the realization, the sensation that everything is absolutely fine. I don't need to prepare to bury a person who I love the most. And I was 12 at that time. So a prayer of a pure soul or the soul who loves another person a lot has significant powers that cannot be explained by science or by doctors. And it's not just one case in my life of miracles. And I'm pretty sure if you will start remembering different miracles in your life, you will discover lots of lucky coincidences. On the last train, 139 Cyrus, in 2006, I saw in my dream my future in 15 years. It was very clear, it was very vivid. I considered it an absolutely total dream because at that time I've never been outside my country. I wrote it down and I forgot about it. And when I discovered my old notes, I was shocked. I was surprised that it was opened to me. At this moment, I cannot control it. I either have visions or I don't. But because I'm in a constant research and I have moon in Ophiuchus, it gives me opportunity using the lunar energies to help and heal other people. That's why I was driven to make a book. It took me 10 years. This book is available. And for people who would like to receive knowledge and guidance and the key, Chiron actually symbol is the key, you will be given the unique and individual messages through different visual or verbal stimulants. I highly encourage everybody to investigate more about their birth charts, about astrological layouts and Ophiuchus. For me, it was the new information. For somebody, it's just a nonsense. I've seen that astrology was a nonsense for me 15 years ago, but then things changed. And the more I learn, the more I understand that I know nothing. I just know that I need to share the information with you and I will know that the universe will guide you and intuitively the right things will resonate within you. If something will not be obvious and visible, it means that it's not your time yet. So don't be disappointed. The most important thing is to discover who you are, what are your programs, and to see the information that will help you to plan your future accordingly to your layout. That's why I'm making these horoscopes. That's why pay attention to repetitive numbers or messages in your life, write it down. And I'm pretty sure on the new moon or full moon in Ophiuchus, you will know what it means and how to interpret it, because only you will know how to interpret it in your life.